Ryan Garcia just admitted that he ran the play on, on Devin Haney as if there's any doubt that he did this shit. But I want to talk about Ryan Garcia from that perspective. If you can't make 140 no more weight, what you want to fight Pitbull for? Why are you talking about fighting Sean O'Malley? Why are you talking about Tank Davis? I want to see Ryan Garcia versus Jerome Boutinis. I want to see Ryan Garcia versus Imantis Stanionis. I want to see Ryan Garcia versus Mario Barrios. Why are you calling out Pitbull, who's a 140-pounder? You just said you can't make 140 no more. Why do you want to fight Tank Davis again, who's a 135-pounder, and he already stopped you, made you quit? And why are you trying to fight an MMA fighter now? And this is why I told y'all I was rooting for Devin Haney because he better for boxing, bro. This shit is a is is a is a is a fucking circus now, bro. Ryan Garcia walking around like he the man. People are praising him for openly being unprofessional and underhanded, bro. I'm not gonna do it. Give a fuck how much. I, I call out Devin Haney and Bill Haney for they capping and they lies and shit. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And I wouldn't be me if I didn't give it to Ryan the same way. I'm going to give it to Devin. Pause. No diddy. <laughs> Pause. No diddy, though. And Ryan Garcia is just absolutely horrible, bro. If you can't make 140 no more, stop calling out 140 pounders. And he do this shit all the time, by the way. But this is what he said, bro, in the interview. He asked about coming, they asked him directly, yo, what's up with you coming up in overweight for the Devin Haney fight? He said, usually, he the bigger guy. Usually, he's the weight bully. But the weight bully got bullied. Now, I don't believe in no bullying in boxing and shit. I believe once you make weight, you get it popping. But Ryan didn't make fucking weight. You can say whatever you want about Devin Haney, but... When he was supposed to fight at 135, motherfucker made 135. When he post fight at 140, he made 140. Whatever contracted weight he signed to on the initial agreement, he made that fucking weight. Ryan Garcia signed to fight Javier Fortuna at 136, made 139. He signed to fight motherfucking Oscar Duarte at 140, made 143. He signed to fight... Devin Haney at 140, made 143. And now he openly in the post fight press conference said 143 is the lowest I can get to. It's the lowest I can get to. And smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video, catch me live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night, 7 30. I'm also live every Sunday morning with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday morning is 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Join the channel as a member. Drop super chats and super thanks when you come by the live streams and videos that we do. And hit me up if you want to debate. Knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email. Or you can join the channel as a member. Drop super chats and super thanks when you come by, man. Let's get it cracking. Anyway, bro. So, if you can't make 140 no more, man, I don't want to hear you calling out no motherfucking 100 and, and um. 40 pounders? What you calling out Pitbull for? What you want to fight Pitbull for, bro? We don't want to see that. Pitbull over on, there on the PBC anyway. Pitbull got to fight. Pitbull is fighting Jose Rayo Valenzuela defending his title, bro. He got to fight. So, Sean O'Malley playing another, eating another sport. We ain't trying to see that. I want to see you fight at welterweight since that's where your last two fights been at anyway. Your last two fights been at welterweight. Duarte was at welterweight. Anything over 140 and under 147 is welterweight. Keep up, trolls and people that think I'm hating. His fight against Devin Haney, he fought at welterweight while making Devin Haney make super lightweight. So, shit, I want to see you fight at welterweight. I want to see the biggest name at welterweight that's realistic for you to make that just signed the zone deal was Jerron Boutinis. And Jerron Boutinis said, your ass is food. You going to let him talk to you like that? Or are you and Devin Haney cut from the same cloth? Talk to me. You know, looking for a size advantage. Trying to fight smaller motherfuckers. Pitbull crew way smaller than you. Sean O'Malley way smaller than you. Tank Davis way smaller than you. Nah, bro, we want to see you fight somebody your size. We want to see you fight another welterweight if you're going to fight a welterweight. 
And the fact that he can admit this, and some of y'all are watching this video right now, y'all hate Devin Haney and Bill Haney so much that you ain't gonna keep it real on Ryan Garcia. I'm gonna keep it real with you, bro. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. Yeah, I'm gonna have my fun as a Tank fan, and I'm, I'm gonna point out the shit with Tank and Devin. And, and, and go in on Devin from Tank Davis's perspective. But in the case of Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia, give me Devin Haney all day over Ryan Garcia as a fighter, as a professional, as a warrior. Because when Ryan Garcia got put in Devin Haney's position, he folded, he quit. Show he ain't got no dog. I, I don't forget shit. Devin Haney got put in that position. He kept fighting, kept studding up. Then take a knee and refuse to get up every time. I saw him jump right back up. The minute he hit the ground, that motherfucker was struggling to get up. We can make our memes and no ditty ass in the air. We can have our fun and shit. But sometime every now and then, you got you to gotta say what's real. And what's real is Ryan Garcia should not be allowed to continue to play these games with the scale, bro. It's bad for boxing. And any potential Ryan Garcia opponent... Take heed and take notes. Specifically, if you're stupid enough to think that he going to try to make 140 for you. If you're stupid enough to think that he going to try to make 140 for you. And me as a fight fan, I've seen enough. This is now three out of his last four fights. The only one out of his last four fights where he made the weight that he was contracted to make was when he fought Tago to go box. Emmanuel Tago. They contracted that shit. He came back, he fought to go first. Had a shitty performance. They contracted that shit at 139 because they said he was just working his way back out because he came from a long layoff, mental health or whatever. They contracted that shit. He made that weight. Then he proceeded to his next three fights, missed the weight that he was contracted to make. He was supposed to make 136 before Tuna. They changed the weight the week of the fight to 139. Couldn't make weight. He was supposed to make 140 for Duarte. They changed the weight the day before the fight. They weighed in at 143. And then he just did this shit with Devin the Dream Haney. And he openly telling you the weight bully got bit bully. Usually he the bigger guy. Have your fun from a Devin Haney perspective all you want to. But from Ryan Garcia's perspective, what I want What's best for boxing? Motherfucker, I want you to fight a welterweight. What you calling out Pitbull Bull for? You can't make his weight class. What you calling out Tank Davis for? You can't make his weight class. And he already beat your ass. Sit on that L. Sebastian Fundor, I ain't got no problem with you calling him out. He a 154 pounder. Go fight a 154 then. There's a lot of smoke up there. Virgil Ortiz right there on the Golden Boy. What you? Beat your ass. Boy, you know it. <laughs> you won't call him out, though. Big ass Mexican, Mexican American war. The type of shit Canelo and Jaime Munguia having. Talk to me. Terrence Crawford at 154. Earl Spence at 154. 147, you don't want to go up that far? Boots in is just signed to the zone. He right fucking there, bro. We can't get this man a pass because some of us prefer Tank Davis over Devin. Some of y'all really hate Devin. I don't, I don't, I don't dislike the young man. I dislike his father far more than I dislike him. I've always said I think he's a good young man, well spoken. He ain't really a dog like that, and really, it's his daddy that's that's, that's driving this shit. Been telling y'all that. Been telling y'all that, and I stand on that, stand behind that, 100, 1,000, 1 million percent. But what I also say is Ryan Garcia is a goddamn snake. He a liar. He is underhanded as fuck. I don't trust him. And you can already see the play right now. Oh, I'm a big name now. I can. I, I want to fight Pitbull. Gonna have sign the fight for 140. Have the belt be on the line for Pitbull, and then come in that bitch 143, 145. Man, we ain't, we ain't running that shit. You already tried to run this play when you tried to tell Tank he had to fight you at 140, and you mad, and, and he's mad. That Tank and them didn't let him run the play. That's why he mad at Tank. That's why everybody's better than Tank. Everybody punch harder than Tank. Tank is an easy fight. I was just weak. I was just this. All these fucking excuses. Because you couldn't run the play on him. 
You trying to you were gonna try to sign a fight him at 140. If they were stupid enough to not put a rehydration clause on you, you was gonna say, Oh, I miss weight. I'm sorry. Let's just I'll just pay the stipulation and then you were gonna try to weight bully him to you you well, I, ain't, I don't believe in weight bullying. You were gonna try to use your size as an advantage too, cause you scared for real. You a scary motherfucker for real deep down. Deep down, Ryan Garcia don't really believe all this shit. Cause if you believed it, move like a dog, now move like a savage. Go get your first world title, bro. Go beat Boots ass up. Go beat up Jerome Boutinis, man. Go beat up Fundora, man. Go beat them boys up, man. Fight them motherfuckers your size are bigger than you. Let me see that power translate to people that's actually your size. Yeah, nah, bro. Like, we, I, I, I ain't trying to see you do it again. Fight Pitbull Cruz. I ain't trying to see you fight an MMA fighter. Fight Sean O'Malley. Nobody trying to check for that shit, man. We ain't trying to see you fight these dudes, man. We trying to see you fight people in your weight class. You a welterweight now. You done fought two fights at welterweight. You a motherfucking welterweight, bro. Jerome Boutinis is the fight. Jerome Boutinis is the fight. That way you ain't got to try to sign the contract to make a weight that you can't make. You can make 147 easy than a motherfucker. Get it cracking. If Munch is standing on this good fight for you, get it cracking. Get that shit cracking. Let me see what that power. Let me see what that power would look like. Against people your size. Against more durable people. Let's see what that shit hitting on. But y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Comment below, smash the like, sub to the channel. I say, I say, Ryan Garcia should fight at welterweight. Stop calling out dudes at lightweight. Stop calling out dudes at super lightweight. Take your ass to welterweight. And fight the champions at welterweight. And the biggest name at welterweight right now, since Bud Crawford is going to be dropping his belt soon, the biggest name at welterweight right now is Jerron Boutinis. And you lucky enough to where he over there on the zone with you. So make that shit happen, man. I'll see y'all soon. Peace out. <laughs>